we got some real good fans, NASCAR fans here. This guy, he runs World Ride Technology Raceway. This is a really, I got a little interview, all right? Yeah. So, check it out. It's been 54 years since Talladega has been built, all right? Are you a big fan of Super Speedway racing? It, I always like, I've always liked Super Speedway racing just because you never know what you can expect and it's always so unique. Okay. You know? There's, you know, there's not, there's only one day Daytona, there's only one Talladega, you know? All right. So that's what adds that little extra would, to the season. Would you ever be down to make a bigger track and add it to the schedule? It's been 54 years since this thing's yeah. been built. And you see the amount of the masses that are here. Yeah. How about a bit, another big track and add it to the day? What, what would you say? I, you know, I'd have to say no because of the tradition, the history. I'm not saying special. take this off here. No, no, I'm not saying. I'm saying I think you know when you take a look at the diversity of what you see in the schedule now, with dirt tracks, with the road course races now, the Chicago Street Race, uh -huh. the mile and a half, us, the World by Technology Raceway, the mile and a quarter, I'm Richmond and three quarter. I think we've got a really good mix, and I don't know that we need to add uh, anything bigger because we've got. Yeah, between uh, Daytona and out here, we've got some great races for these big tracks. Okay, as a child, I was I'm aspiring to be an actor, and I, I remember going to the movies and playing, they didn't have NASCAR games, they had Cruising USA games. Would you ever be a fan of taking, say, a course all the way across the Americas and having all these races from all over the globe, say from Seattle to Miami or New York to, uh, Los Angeles having different banking, flat banking, deep banking, just all the way across the country and having a, a cruise in USA race ever. That sounds like a pretty cool idea. It does. All right, that's my dream. All right, brother. Yeah. Hugs or boxing gloves post race. Okay. Uh, what do you say? Oh, uh, you want uh, boxing? You want boxing gloves? Yeah. Let them take it out for about 30 seconds. Put some headgear yeah. on and throw it and let the fans. Hey, take a look at what hockey does. In hockey, they leave it on the ice. That's, they leave it in the penalty box. This is this is the type of responses I'm digging from fans all yeah. over. I love it. All right, clash location. Do you like it or do you think they should put it in rotation? Say maybe different NFL venues across the country. I, I'm, or I've had people say, no, put it back in Daytona. I'm, I'm after fan, natural fans response. What do you say? I like the, the way they've been mixing it up with you know, the Coliseum. It used to be in Daytona now, the Coliseum. I like the, the idea of them moving it around and taking it different places. So okay. Good. All right. Are you a Kyle Busch fan? Yes. All right. It being his first year in RCR, how deep does he get? Does he make the final board? Does he win it all? What does he do? He's in the playoffs. He's in the playoffs. I think Final Four is a legitimate estimate. I don't know. You know, it's going to take a lot. It's all when you get to the Final Four, it all boils down to luck. And obviously, there's a ton of colonies and a little bit of luck to make that happen. So we'll see. And a lot of it depends on how. It all comes down to that short track package of that last race yeah. and how quick they can adapt. And, you know, Kyle is really good at adapting for those last races. So we'll see how it works out. Beautiful. Chase Elliott, he's had some mishaps this year. Does he make the final four? Does he pull a 2015 Kyle Busch and come back and win it all? Uh, that's a swing for the fence moments. I think Kyle Busch, you know, he proved it can be done. Uh, it all it boils down to how that last race goes. Uh, you know, you take a look at the number of short track races leading into that final. It's going to basically be who can adapt to the short track package the best. So with that adapt adaption of the short track package could get you that spot into the final four. And if you're doing it well, you could pull it off. We just have to see how Chase adapts you know, coming back after this injury. I like it. Phoenix. Yeah. Always and forever being the championship. Do you think we should rotate it? And, okay, I'll throw this in there. Dale Jr. mentioned it should be at Daytona, okay? But I'm saying, what I'm saying is, if it was at a Talladega, which would be beautiful for fans' perspective, okay? Or a Daytona, beautiful for tradition and, and championship-wise. But put it as a strategic race pre-1987 type deal, which would make it more of a teammate style racing rather than this pack racing all together. I, I, what do you say? I like Phoenix. I think Phoenix is a great. Always and forever being being the championship. I, I, I think so. I mean, they're just I love the. I think it's a great. 
great atmosphere, love the track. I've, I've gone every year since they've moved to Phoenix just because I enjoy going over that race. Okay. That's one of the races I always put on my schedule. So I really like it there. Now I like Homestead also. I like Homestead because they get up on the wall there and the racing there. Is oh good. yeah, Larson and Reddit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you know, I enjoy you know both both of those locations. I think are great. I've been going to the final. I mean, I was going to the final back in uh, 92, 93 when it was in Atlanta. So you know, I've seen the final in a lot yeah. of different places. I really like Phoenix. I think it's a good spot for it. I've heard maybe bring it back to Atlanta. So that, that's a good response. So, all right. This is all in all positivity. Having a good time out here at Talladega. Thank you, sir, for the Emmer view. You're welcome, man. Have a good Emmer down with Sledge.